Welcome back to Reaction Cast. It's your host Jesus, aka Tyrant Dominus, here to give you another anime review. This time around, we're going to be talking about Black Summoner. So, to do a quick, like, synapse, uh, a reasonable synapse, uh, to prepare for reincarnation in another world, it's an isekai, as you can tell. Uh, Kelvin gives up select memories from his past life in exchange for powerful abilities and additional skill points and an S-class summoner title. So that's kind of the base premise. As a bonus, the goddess Phyllis... Huh, Phyllis... Phyllis... Oh my god, why can't I pronounce that? Phyllis... What the fuck? Facilitating... My god. I do. My god. Facilitating his rebirth, Melfina offers him a choice of any companion to give him a head start in his summoning role. Kelvin, who has fallen head over heels for a Melfina at first sight, promptly chooses the deity and confident that his passionate feelings for her will resurface even without all his memories. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of the base premise, you know. Then, you know, it's your classic isekai uh, that has, you know, these, like, game-style abilities. He's overpowered. Um, not, like, overpowered in the beginning. It takes a little time. He kind of builds his skill up. Uh, and I think, I think this show, I think this show sh really showcases uh, some of the good and bad parts of some isekai. Um, because, uh, for sure, Black Summoner was one of the few stories that I was reading, and when I saw the, the announcement that they were doing a, a live at uh, not a live, an anime adaptation, I'm like, okay, okay, let's, uh, let's see where, let's see where this is gonna go. Where is this gonna go? And, it, it was reasonably reasonably fun to watch. There is some there are some hit or misses. There's some like some moments that are lackluster, but the way this the show portrays most of the 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 action, the plot, it's it's good. I I would say it's good. There are there are some moments that I'm like, God, why why is this like this? Like there. I'm not I'm not a big fan of the 3D uh the 3D animation mixed in with anime. It works sometimes, but there are moments where it's like it's like eh and the show has some of it. It it, it fits sometimes, but it it's it's off putting <laughs> on others. But yeah, you're following Kelvin and his crew as the story progresses of his summons and companions and for the most part, I think we're you'll, we're be, we'll be getting a season two. It kind of leaves at that point uh, because the finale for this show or season, I would say season, it's kind of like open ended, but not bad. It's just like okay, so what's gonna happen next? You know, I think I think it works well because what's fun about this show is Kelvin himself because he is one of my favorite style of characters. A battle junkie. He wants to fight people, uh, strong people, just to see how strong he is, and just push himself to a limit. And I really like that. And that's his biggest uh, <laughs> biggest flaw is not really. It's just like one of his like quirks, and I love it. Uh, his, the rest of his companions that you meet along the way, they're fun. Uh, you know, you got your classic uh, elf style, demon god. You know, you're, it's it's a typical isekai. There's nothing more really. Um, the only thing that really show changes this from other isekais is just his attitude. I think uh, I've. It's like there's some moments where he's sweet and somber, but man, when he gets into a fight, yes. You're in it, and I think there's a good mix of it in this uh, in this show of him just being compassionate, and then when it's time to like battle, it's time to battle, and he's not he's not overly like he there. I don't know how to explain it. It's not he's like overly confident. He's like he knows when and where to do stuff, but boy, does his like. His battle junkiness just go. Mm, I gotta, just gotta go. I just gotta go, and 
I think there's also the, the kind of the flaw of some isekai. It's just you get this, <laughs> you get your your classic kind of, uh, your classic, just like it's just generic in that sense where it's just like, yes, guy gets reincarnated or transferred and then battle abilities, and that's kind of the 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 hard the low point of some of these isekais. It's just one of those. The only thing I, that differentiates them is how they are willing to tell the story and I think for this one I like how his story is not one of your classic you were summoned to defeat a demon lord his story is you can do whatever the fuck you want and when you can summon me the goddess Melfina so we can be together let's do it and you know what I like that it's <laughs> and yeah um, but it, it's the show itself the audio is not bad there are a lot of there are moments where they overuse a couple soundtracks and when they're first used like oh okay that's nice but there are moments where like they use the same soundtrack a little too much like I don't know if it fits for this moment but well okay sure sure and I think, uh, is it state light? Sa sa satellite? Is it satellite? Is that how you pronounce that studio? Satellite did a good job overall, um, with this show. I didn't really see any issues. Like I said, the only thing that I didn't find off putting, just like, like, eh, was the 3D, uh, animation in some scenes. Um, besides that, it was, it was a fun show. It's cliffhanger moments were, like, interesting. And how this season ended was like, I see where you're going because I, I know where it's going. And I'm like, where does it end? And I think it ends reasonably well to kind of build people up to the next season. But season one, overall, it was a fun show. Uh, there could have been some better some better ways to tell certain parts. But I think they did a like all right job with for the most part and there's nothing more i could say on that so for black summoner and i'm i'm gonna, I'm gonna be betting we're gonna get a season two i'm gonna give this one a solid seven out of ten it's a good show it's a good show there could have been moments where it could have been better uh and for sure it could have it could have hit eight nine i don't know but it could have hit an eight for me but it did just it was just a little bit a little bit lackluster there but a seven's a good it was a good show i liked it and i was always looking forward to the next episode um to see how they were going to showcase a couple of moments and i it did a, a good job and i liked it let me know what you guys thought about it leave it down in the comments if you're watching this on youtube if you're listening to this on any of the podcasting platforms you can always follow me on instagram and post a comment down on the post below but yeah thanks again for listening or watching until next time see ya see ya see ya see ya